Today is a day set for review. And um, according to Miss, oh, I, I don't never know her name because she don't put her name. According to probation, your discharge date is May the 2nd. You were placed on a 12-month probationary period. And I placed you on probation on, yeah, May 2nd. Uh, of this year, 24. So this is your first review. This is the 12, the halfway point. However, you're not quite finished. So this says that you did pay the restitution in full. Um, yep. This is the restitution of $30,000 was paid in full. You completed the theft awareness class. Um, you, you have done some um, again, wait, Oh, you did choice. You did choices. Yes, ma'am. Through eBay, and then you've completed eight of the ten gamblers counseling. Well, let's see. Nope. That's that. She's saying two different things. How many gamblers counseling is left? Uh, I finished all ten. Oh, you did. Yes, ma'am. Okay. When did you finish? Cause she just sent me this. Um. This would have been um, last week on, I believe Friday was the last day. I remember she said she was leaving the office Thursday. Um, so Mr. Mooney was trying to get in contact with her, I believe, to email her to let her know that I was completed. But he, he, he assured her that I will be finished before this court date. Okay, let me, let me, uh, let me see. Who... All right, Mr. Flanagan. Yes, Your Honor. Can you call Miss uh, Collins in probation and see uh, if she has an update? Well, well, let me ask this before I, before I have you do that. What about count two? You owe five hundred and ten dollars on count two. Uh, that's the only thing that I haven't completed, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Well, then don't worry about calling her, Mr. Flanagan. So let's do this. How long do you think it'll take for you to complete the or pay the 510? Um, I start a new job within, what, two days? Um, so my first paycheck within basically two weeks, I'll be able to pay it. You going to give us all, all your money? I don't know how much <laughs> check is. Don't, it, give it, me, it, don't give me the no, it, saying it's all your money. I mean, I can I mean, I, it's, I, it's literally been all my money. So. Right. <laughs> But I, I so, can give, yeah. I can give you a couple of months if you want a couple of extra months. I can give you a couple of months. I mean, yeah, that that will work better, absolutely. Um, whichever one works. All right. I mean, cause today is just the halfway point, so you're not technically scheduled to be discharged from probation. Um, the twelve months you're not scheduled until May second. I could give you a date in late January if that'll be better for you. Yes, ma'am. That works. Mr. Miles, is that acceptable? Uh, it is acceptable, Your Honor. It's possible I might be out of the country, but I'd be able to get another attorney to stand in for the review. All right. And also, if he completes it, so let me give a date. I'll give a date first. And then if you complete the, if he completes it and pays the money, you you could send an email to Mr. Flanagan and we I can discharge him without you coming. Okay. okay. That sounds great. All right. So let's, I'll put it on the docket for um, January the let's put it on the docket for February 3rd, that first Monday in February. I'll put it on the docket for February 3rd. And then that way we could confirm with Miss um, Collins that you've completed those classes or the counseling, and then you can pay the $510. If you've done so, uh, counsel, you can just submit an email and I can confirm it with the probation and and then I can discharge them without appearance. So we'll put it on the docket for a discharge. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, all right, you're welcome. So February 3rd, uh, Mr. Flanagan, let's put it on the Docket for, well, no, not 945, because that will denote money. 
that'll denote money only. Just put it on for the regular time, 10 o'clock, and then we'll see uh, where, where we are. Excuse me, Brian. Ms. Brian, uh, so up until this point, um, I'm still expected to check in regularly and do the normal probation process until January. What What do you mean by that? Tell me, what, what do you do? What's the normal probation process? Um, well, because originally they were telling me that once I came into this review, I could have the potential to be discharged from the probation since I had did all the classes and everything like that. So um, here, right now, I'm going to interrupt you, Mr. Lee. You're on a non-reporting probation anyway. So if they've had you I, reporting monthly, yeah. you didn't have to do that. I, yeah, I, I said that originally, but they told me that the judge don't make the rules here. That was the quote that they... Who told you that? Oh, hold Mr. on. Mr. Flanagan, call <laughs> Mr. Farmer right now. Call him right now. Yes. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> call him right now. I need you to tell us who told you that. Call him right now. Matter of fact, you can call Mr. Wade, too. Call them right now. Because I'm about to... Yes, yes. <laughs> I like yes, you, Mr. Lee. I, I like you. You didn't even mean to tell on them, but you did. Yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, Miss, it's Miss Bryson. She's no longer there anymore. Uh, that was the former probation oh. officer that well, I let had. Me, let me make sure they have a meeting with probation while you on here. Let's let's make sure they have a meeting with the probation. Because if I ever hear somebody say that again, they, I'm going to hold them in contempt. Understood. Yeah, but we're going we gonna to do this right now. Oh, I'm so excited. This start this turned out to be a great Tuesday. But um you did not have to report, Mr. Um, um Lee. Lee. You were not supposed to be reporting on a monthly basis. And um we're getting ready to nip that in the bud right now. I'm so excited for my future and yours. So to answer your question, you do not have to report now. What you have to do is let us know when you finish those classes, the counseling. So um, you can, in fact, have them send it to Mr. Flanagan. Um, but I want you to stay on here so Mr. Farmer can hear it from, your, from you. I'm going to tell him what you said, and then I'm going to ask you, did you say that in front of the okay. supervisor? So we can make sure that no other probation officer ever tells anybody else that I don't make the rules. I I, I am the rule. I mean, what? Are, I don't even understand yeah. what the, uh, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought and so you, too. You should have told him that, and then you should have just not shown up. I, you wouldn't. Nothing would have happened to you. Nothing. I just, I just was nervous. I didn't want to get violated. I was just trying I to know. follow the rules. You said Mr. Farmer is logging in right now. Yes, Your Honor. He's not logging in. He must not have been at his computer. And and it is correct that Miss Bryson is no longer with. That could be a reason, part of the reason she's not here, because she thought the judge didn't make the rules. I don't know why she's not here anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, Your Honor, my understanding is that uh, the requirements of Mr. Lee are that he complete the payment of five hundred ten dollars and provide proof that he's completed the uh, the gambling counseling classes. Right, and then I'm going to discharge him without him <laughs> ever having to go see probation again. See how that works. Because I do make the rules, Mr. Lee. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm 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 just going to have to let him see the tape because I'm not going to hold you here. He didn't log right in. And so I'm not going to hold you. But uh, you don't have to report to them. So I did notice on the register of action there was a report day. Oh, maybe you just had a report day. Yeah, uh, I had one the other day. That I've been It's been monthly, and then I'll go do the drug screen as, as well. <laughs> Um, a drug month. screen. They've been having me do a drug screen. I was like, I don't even, I don't even smoke, or my case had nothing to do with anything, you know, drug related. But I've been doing a drug screen every month. Mr. Lee, let me apologize on behalf of the court. Um, uh, and, and I'm gonna, I, I, I'm thankful that Miss Bryson no longer works here because she might have got fired today. Understood. So. You do not have to drug test. I specific my order specifically says no urinalysis was ordered. And so what I'm going to do is refund you any money that you have paid for your drug screens. So how where were you testing? Uh it was a Rochester uh Hills location. Uh I forget the name of it, but it was like 
few minutes from my house. Um, I went there, uh, I believe twice when I, I couldn't make it all the way to Detroit, um, within a day. So I would go there. So I only did that like twice. It was like 40 bucks total there. And then the other time they would make me come out to, um, the court to, to do you, it. You said the and other that, times. So you have tested every month since I put you on probation? Yes, ma'am. Every month. That's a mess. Okay. Oh, he, mm, that's a mess. Mm. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to deduct. Uh, come on on screen, Mr. Farmer. Good morning. Mr. Farmer, who is just, uh, he is. Good morning, Anna. He is justice. Every time he come on here, I feel like justice is behind. Mr. Farmer, this is Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, say hi to Mr. Farmer. How you doing, Mr. Farmer? How you doing? Mr. I'm Farmer, done. Mr. Lee used to be supervised by someone who no longer works here. So that's good because if because they might have got fired today if they still worked here. Miss Bryson. Miss Bryson told Mr. Lee. Who she made report to probation every month. That I don't make the rules, he told her. It's a non reporting probation. Miss Bryson told him. The judge don't make the rules. We make the rules. Not only did she have him reporting to probation, she has had this man drug screening every month when my order specifically says no urinalysis ordered. What I called you on here for is because she no longer works here. In your next meeting, just make sure nobody ever tells one of my probationers that because that's go that might get them held in contempt of court because that doesn't even make sense. And you I, know, I understand you right. know that don't make sense. You would okay. So what I am gonna do, Mr. Mr. Lee said he tested at the court four times and you tested in Bloomfield two times. Uh yeah, Rochester Hills, yeah. Oh, Rochester Hill. So, Mr. Flanagan, what I am gonna do is deduct. Uh, I'm just going to give him a hundred and fifty dollar credit for his inconvenience and his time, and then that that will leave him a balance instead of the five ten. Y'all know I got to add, subtract the old fashioned way. So hold on. I'm gonna cross off the five. I'm gonna make it a four. I'm gonna put my little one over there. They don't teach the kids how to do that anymore. Eleven minus <laughs> five. <laughs> Six. Okay. Your balance is three hundred and sixty dollars, and then okay. if you pay that balance and Miss Officer Penn, don't be making me feel bad. He had already texted me, y'all, told me how much it is. He adds in his head, my officer. I love my officer too. I love my st my staff. So, Mister uh, Council, if you send that, uh, if he finishes, you can send it to his new probation officer. But I'm t I'm telling you this in the presence of Mr. Farmer, you do not have to show up and report to probation and you do not have to drug test. You only have to pay the balance and finish those two classes. Oh, no, you said you finished the classes. Yes, ma'am. I finished them. OK, so you, we just need proof of the counseling. OK. OK, Mr. Farmer, you going to take care of that for me? I've never had a probation officer say that before. So I think you got a good team, but that made me nervous. I think Mr. Farmer froze. He did. All right. Well, he was a he used to be a probation officer. Now he's the supervisor. So okay. that was that was some bad advice. That was some bad instructions. And uh, like I said, she doesn't work here anymore. And if she did today, she was probably going to either be fired or held in contempt of court. So I'm glad we didn't have to cross that bridge. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. And no uh, problem, for on. thank you so much, Mr. Lee. Thank you for sharing that information. And I, again, apologize for the inconvenience. You did not have to do those things. So I appreciate it. Um, and then we will, I'll, I'll either see you on the third or we'll, do your discharge when I get the information, okay? Okay, all right. Thank you. One yes, question, sir. Yes, sir. I, I have my, I'm just looking at my notes, and um, I have that um, the order was for a delayed sentence. 
Oh yes, yeah. he'll get he'll get the delayed sentence. Okay, great. Yes. Yeah, so great. if he finishes, you know, he's gonna finish well within the 12 months, and I'll give him the delayed sentence. So it will be a dismissal um and a removal of the conviction from your record once you pay the balance and, and give us the proof that you completed that counseling. Okay, okay. All right. we'll do. All right. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Gentlemen, have a great day. Stay safe.